in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we are happy to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. Yesterday I talk about fricative sounds. That is, what is the manner of articulation of fricative sounds? Today, our topic is affricate sounds. That what is the place of, particularly the manner of articulation of affricate sounds? Whenever we are talking about affricate sounds, so the definition of affricate sound is. Affricate sounds are those sounds which begin as collusive and end as fricatives. Listeners and items, I think this topic will not clear to you until and unless I share with you little bit information about the two topics which I shared in detail previously. The first topic that was collusive. And the next topic that was fricative. About Pelosio, I told you that Pelosio sounds are those sounds for which two points are required. The first one was complete closure and the next point that was sudden release. What does it mean? It means that whenever the air comes from our lung, and reach to our articulators, the air stopped in our articulators. And then they suddenly open and the air is suddenly released. And such a way a sound produced known as Pelosio sound. And the example of Pelosio sound as I shared with you that was Ta sound, uh, Da sound, etc. On the other hand, Whenever we are talking about fricative sound, fricative sounds are those sounds which produced at the time whenever the air comes from our lung and reach to our articulators and which are closed. Whenever our articulators they are uh, narrowly open in such a way a sound produced that is known as fricative sound. And I told you that fricative sound is produced whenever our articulators they are narrowly opening and they produce with a hissing sound. As much as sound, as much as air we have in your lungs, that much you can prolong and increase uh, fricative sounds like s and s or sh sound or sha sound. Now let's come back to the definition of the affricate sound. I think with this a little bit background this topic will clear to you now. As I mentioned and told you at the beginning of this uh, a short video that affricate sounds are those sounds which begin as pelosio and end as fricative. If you want to recognize and you keep this uh, definition and your medulla, so then you must keep two points in your mind. The first point that is complete closure. And the next point that is slowly. Release. Let's measure I guess. Now, whenever we are talking about affricate sounds, affricate sounds, they are produced whenever the air comes from our lung and reach to our articulators. Our articulators, they are slowly opening and the air is slowly released from them. In such a way, a sound produced that is known as affricate sound. I am repeating, whenever the air comes from our lungs and reach to our articulators, so the articulators they are slowly opening 
and the air is slowly releasing in such a way the sounds produce two sounds known as affricates and there are two sounds are there two sounds are there the first one that is known as that is known as uh, cha sound and the next sound that is known as uh, cha sound for example you say chen chen and the next sound you say uh jeev or ja sound so here it is ja sound and here it is cha sound so slowly our articulators open and this sound is produced ja ja sound and cha sound listen to i and remember that there is another important point in the point stage our lips they are actually uh round little bit round when we are talking about these two sounds like cha sound and ja sound so i think this topic is clear to you thank you